This is a 2014 model BMW i3. It's a six-year-old i3 with over 100,000 kilometers on the odometer. And it's a 22 kilowatt hour battery. <laughs> so today I will do, I guess I will do a range test, but also um, a degradation test to see how much the degradation is. The owner claims that it's about 13% when he measure it. Okay, so uh, you guys probably know it before. It's uh, actually huh, the first car, the first non-Tesla I reviewed was in fact an i3, uh, a 60 amp hour or 22 kilowatt stunden. So we've been charging now, almost done. Oh, the auxiliary heater. Yeah, let's activate it again, auxiliary heater. So you see, uh -huh, it disappeared now. Let me fire up the car. You see, 103,000 <laughs> on the odometer. So um, yes, we will just charge 100% and then we drive at 90 kilometers per hour and then I measure the capacity afterwards. And I will also do a, a charging test at the Ionti here. It's pretty nice because you can see the charging speed and everything. I want to see if the charging speed has gone down as the car ages or not. And the car has been fast charging about once per week. Oh, we are finally done. It took 94 minutes. Yeah, that's uh, one hour and 34 minutes. So you know what? When the car was fresh, I remember that there was a top buffer, uh, but now it took forever. It was slowly charging towards end. It was, it was sitting at 99% for the longest time. So I suspect that uh, some degradation has been eating up the top buffer. So it's acting more or less like a Tesla now, which allows you to charge 100%. But okay, let's do the range and capacity test then. All right, we're finally on the move now, and we have to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour to match the 90. But first we will check the weight of the car. Okay, English and Thai. Pada Thai kabangkit. Front. Ha! 640, that's it. Bauer. Okay, back. And I need to turn the whole car. Wow, 1,360. Okay, a lot of Okay, all right, let's go then. Wow, it's a nice weather today, yes. Let's check the windsock. How is it hanging? Uh, get a little bit of wind, not too much. We have been driving for 40 minutes and we just passed the half, well, half battery mark. We are on the way back again. <laughs> yeah, these, tips, these tests are really short and nice. The only exception is the long charging time, but um, Already now I estimated that we have about 17.5 kilowatt hour. So that means very low uh, um, degradation. But uh, there's still some inaccuracy here. So we have to drive it almost down to zero to get uh, the best uh, result. Okay, we are almost at the end. I'm running it kind of dangerously low because it's an old battery. I don't know when it could shut down. Whoa. Yeah, it's a bit risky. Okay, the power is gonna disappear, okay. So uh, let's just take it slightly easy now. Yeah, I have it on Eco Pro Plus, so uh, I think the heater shut down now. We just want to make sure we get to the charging station. Yeah, and then we check the start, the battery status. We are now at the Ionity charging station again, and uh, we drove 104 kilometers. Consumption was actually pretty low. Huh, you know what? It was exactly the same as the Model 3 um, long range uh, rear wheel drive. But you know, this car has heat pump, uh, and uh, the, model, uh, the Tesla didn't have heat pump. So you see, the Tesla is more efficient in summer, but in winter, hmm. Cars with heat pump will, will beat them, at least around here, around 5 degrees Celsius. But anyway, the stats, yes, you want to know. Okay, so uh, I worked out that um, this car has 16.8 kilowatt hours available energy. We ended with 5.5%. 16.8 kilowatt hours. Uh, when the car was new, it has 18.8. So it lost 2 kilowatt hours after 100,000 kilometers. Or um, the, the, the degradation was 10%. That's actually pretty good. 
10%. Okay, you might be thinking, oh, but you know, Tesla, they have only 5% degradation after 100,000. Well, Teslas, they have way bigger battery. Think about it. This is only 22 kilowatt stunden, and you have 10% degradation. Okay, some of that degradation might be uh, in the top buffer. I suspect it's like that. My gut feeling says that maybe half kilowatt hours was in the top buffer. Um, but okay, still, uh, this, this is the available energy that you can spend. So I say it's pretty good. 10% degradation in a car like this six euro car is pretty good. And this also crushes some of the myths that oh, EVs, they, uh, after uh, five years or whatever, you know, then the battery is shit. No, this car can probably run for another, at least another six years or 10 years, then the, the battery might be down to, let's say, 80% because most of the degradation happens in the beginning. So uh, this car, let's say it will at least run for 15 years before you consider replacing it because the, the battery is shit. So yeah, good shit, man. Uh, but okay, we're not done yet. Let's do a high speed test. Yes, because you guys will be, will, will be crying. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Why did you drive so slow? Why did you drive at 90 kilometers per hour? That's one of the test procedure. Next one is to drive at 120 kilometers per hour. I will break the speed limit because just because of you guys. Yes. <laughs> mm, by the way, before we start, I want to check the, you know, we can, we can check the service menu. So I charge the car up now. Let's um, fire it up. So what you have to do when you, to enter the service menu, you have to start the car so it's in the ready state. Well, I'm zooming in a little bit so you see better. Oh, oh oops, oh, let me adjust here. Okay, and then you use the button for uh, for resetting trip. You have to hold it down for 10 seconds, roughly. Uh -huh. There, okay, and then you have to know the win. Uh, the th last uh, th uh, five digits of the win, you take those and add them together. Uh, I already checked this, it's 14. So then you go to unlock here and then hold it for 10 seconds again. Okay, and then enter 14. No, shit, went too far. No! Okay, how, how, how do we loop this? Um, I think it goes to 99, right? No, actually, no, it's okay. okay. Let's pay attention now. 14, okay, and then I hold it down for 10 seconds. There, okay, it's unlocked now. So now we can look at uh, what is called fuel tank battery. It's kind of weird, but if you go here, tank left, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you want to see is, um, there, there. So you see, this one claims 16.3 kilowatt hours, but I measured 16.8. So actually, what people have been saying is that you can't really trust this number. So in, in this case, when I did the measurement, it was actually a better case than what the car claims. So the, I think I also heard that the, the car has been programmed to kind of, uh, to kind of, uh, uh, drop, uh, it decreased this number and it seems like it actually decreased more than the actual uh, uh, degradation. So, hmm, all right, interesting. Okay, we're back after the run and, um, okay, if I look at the trip meter, it was actually, okay, it was 42.4 kilometers we drove and consumption was 215 as expected. It's actually similar to Model 3. Hmm, okay, but anyway, um, and I came where I came back with 18% that started with 75. So I spent 57%. And if you do the math now, we will get only 16 kilowatt hour out of the battery, not 16.8. So you see there is more heat loss when you drive at higher speed. So actually for the next time I do these high speed runs in any other car, I should try to check the state of charge because yeah, you have to assume that there's higher uh, heat loss at higher speed, basically. So, um, yes, I think that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I forgot. For some... <laughs> the range, by the way, is 74 kilometers per... Uh, the range is 74 kilometers in winter. Yes, <laughs> that's pretty low. So, you know, if I would do the 1000 kilometer challenge, uh, I would probably cruise at uh, about 90 to 100. I think 90 kilometers per hour. Because if you cruise too fast, then you have to charge very often. 
Yeah, so that's probably why you see old i3s driving slow on that motorway because they simply don't have the, the, the range for it. Yeah, so that's it for now then. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.